Hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechach Wadash, double honors to the apostles, Elder Bishop, the Great Millstone, Ruel, peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing the forward in truth and sincerity, Shabbat coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechach Wadash. And, you know, I had uh, this, this chapter here, um, you know, I was kind of thinking about this chapter. Some verses came in my my mind uh, this this night, and I was just meditating on how the Most High is going to protect uh, His elect, and how the name uh, is a defense. Okay, the name of Yah Bashem is a is a defense. You know, there's another scripture that just came to came to mind. Uh, I believe that's uh, what is that. I think it might be Psalms 18. Uh, let me see. Uh, um, I'll just search it. Uh, I'll just search it. No worries, no worries. Okay, yeah, Proverbs, okay, it was Proverbs 18, that's what it was. And let me, because uh, I have Psalms 91, I was thinking about Psalms 91, and I'm going to read that in the NLT, Psalms 91. Let me read Proverbs 18 in the King James Version, then I'm going to go to the NLT as well. And um, <clears throat> the, the, the Heavenly Father, and this is why the name is, is so important, the name of Yah Basham Yah Shai, the name of his son, the, the name of the father is very important. Proverbs, uh, I believe it's 30. It's, it speaks to um, what it, what is his name and what is his son's name. This is very important for all you Israelites out there still calling on Jesus Christ or Christ or think that the name is not important. The name is very important, especially it's going to manifest in the time of trouble. Okay, the, the Heavenly Father's name, because if you worship, you worship him, all right, you're going to call upon his name, okay? And that is going to be a defense, okay, in a time of trouble. We're we getting ready to go through the straight gate. And we are also in troubles now. But, you know, you're able, you know, in your mind, you know, be able to get out of binds, you know, through, through means maybe working harder, getting another job, doing this, doing this. Somehow it works out. But when the devil comes down, there's only going to be one option. Well, there's two options. Either you can go with the devil or you can you can call on Yah Bashem al -Shai. Yet, if you are not acquainted with him now, like you had one of the, um, I forget his name at IUIC, basically said, you know, yeah, sometimes, you know, I call on that name, you know, when I pray. So he's praying in, in the name of Christ and God. Okay, this is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous, see, the righteous runneth into it and is safe the righteous runneth into it and is safe all right the righteous will be calling on the name of Yah Bashem Yah Shai, the name the true name the true and proper name okay of the heavenly father let's read that in the NLT the name of the Lord is a strong fortress the godly run to him and are safe so when when the devil comes down, when when uh, tragedy happens, okay, catastrophe. All right, when when uh, uh, the evil time comes, when Jacob's trouble comes, what are you? What are you? Is what name are you Israelites going to call on? Now you're going to have certain Israelites that know the name, but are not calling on the name, okay. Um, now, in, but in the time of trouble, they're going to try to go to that name. And the Most High is going to reject him. Okay, let me go to Psalms 91. This is the original, uh, what, you know, the, the, the precept. I was thinking about a, a precept or two in this chapter. So I was like, you know, I went ahead and read it over again. And I was like, I'm just going to bring it out. Okay, you know, because uh, hey, the, the name of Yah Bashem Shai is going to get us out of multiple, multiple binds. As that name and a belief on his name and his son, which it comes, the, the name also comes with a doctrine. It comes with 
uh, a certain behavior that you would you you would follow you know you know basically uh, the the love of the heavenly father is conditional as Yahweh Shai said if you love me keep my commandments now uh, there's more commandments than just keeping the law and for all you uh, keep the law Israelites you cannot keep the whole law okay and we if we you want to go um, uh, nitpick we can nitpick at the law and we will all be found unworthy okay that's why it's so important to uh, you know have faith and, and, and call on the names of Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai okay so I'm gonna read this in Psalms 91 we'll close it the spirit give me another precept you know but we're definitely a could continue to call the the righteous as we read or the godly the godly are going to call on to that name and they, they because they understand that that name is a is a strong fortress okay it's a place of refuge okay Psalms 91 and 1 in the NLT those who live in the shelter of the most high which is this truth this knowledge and you you actually have the truth the, the the name is pretty much the the beginning stages of that truth now I'll tell this this story um, every once in a while maybe once or twice a year about the name you know just my personal testimony coming into the truth I remember it was um, it, it was February or March 2000 uh, two, 2010 and um, you know I was watching the videos for maybe a week two weeks maybe maybe, maybe even shorter than that maybe a week you know you binge it you know so I know it was it was uh, February I believe I believe I, the first video I watched was February 20th 2020 2000 2010 excuse me February 20th 2010 if I'm not mistaken and watch, watching the videos, you know, that, that spirit came to me like, wow, because you, 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 you're used to calling on God and Christ, right? And the truth pulls you in, but the importance of the name is very important because you have to know who you are, who you, who you are praying to. Okay, and I basically said, you know, God, most high, you know, because I, I believed on it through faith, you know, what the apostles were saying that his name is Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's the name. I said, Lord, if, if this the name, let me know. Show me. And that very night, the first time ever, I got held down by a demon. Okay. I got held by I got held down by a demon. And I called on that that name and the demon left. Okay, so I was like, whoa, that that was kind of like my uh my uh what do they call it it uh ignis what is what is what is the word initiation uh, basically initiation into the into the the seriousness the the power of the name okay uh, i said lord you know god if that's your name let me know let i want to know and that again that very night a demon jumped on me and held me down that's that's never happened before and I called on that name and that demon left. And ever since, you know, you know, I've been calling, calling on that name. Okay. Re actually rebuking demons in that name. Okay. Spirits. Okay. Getting through binds and, and all of us, we all have testimony on that name. I, there's another, uh, I mean, I got multiple testimonies on the, the power of the name. Okay. So the name is very important. And by you calling on that name, you, you have a certain, decorum about you you have a, a, a certain um uh responsibility i should say or you you carry yourself in a, in a particular matter the scriptures say uh, be holy as i am as as your heavenly father is holy so you you become separate you become holy uh, it, to the best of your ability by walking upright those who live in the in the shelter of the most high will find rest in the shadow of the almighty right the shadow is a is a place of of refuge is a is a place of uh of shelter like when you go to isaiah i believe it's 32 um how uh, the most high is gonna make a man uh no let me let me get it because i'm about to quote it wrong let me just get it isaiah 32 
It talked about that shadow. Right? And I'll read it in the NLT too. Each one, each one will be like a shelter from the wind. Okay, this is speaking about a man. I, uh, let me let me actually get this in the NLT. Let me know. I'm sorry to the KJV, but let me read it here. Each one will be like a shelter from the wind, a refuge from the storm, like streams of water in the desert, and the shadow of a great rock in a parched land. So Yahbashim Shai, that name is going to be a, a shadow, a, a, a shadow in a uh, of a great rock in a parched land. But let me, I want to get the uh, the KJV because it's speaking it's speaking about a man of the Lord. Okay. Uh, Isaiah 13 as well goes into that. A man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. Okay, why the the, the what the things that's getting ready to come to the, the earth? You you know we listen to these these truthers, right? We listen to these truthers and these individuals that speak about the things that are coming, but they have no idea. It really if they knew, if they truly knew, you know what was getting ready to happen. You know they they would they would be in in fear, they would, they'll literally leave America if they truly knew. Okay, it's like if you read down in this chapter, verse nine, if you women truly knew what was getting ready to come in, getting ready to come, getting ready to come in, uh, getting ready to come, you would you would be um, um, howling and, and 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 mourning. You would be you would be lamenting. Okay. <clears throat> A man shall be a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest, tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Okay, you would you in a, in a very uh, hot place and you get that shadow that it's a it's a place of refuge, you know, from that that beaming heat. So the Lord's name is, is going to be like that when when all these evils come. All right. The Lord is going to be that shadow that the righteous are going to run into. Okay. Psalms 91 and 2 in the NLT. This I declare about the Lord, Yah Bashem al Shai. He alone is my refuge, my, my place of safety. He is my God, and I will trust him. Right. So th th that's, the, that's the, the energy that we're taking up. Okay. Also, um, in Sirach 17 and 10, the righteous shall praise my holy name and that's what differentiates um us from like iuic okay israel 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 uh united in christ we are not united in christ we are united in yabashim yashai okay we are not united in christ and christ is not going to say there, there's billions of people that call on christ okay that is uh, a mainstream religion christ Okay, and that's that's not his name. Okay, uh, number one, that's the, the transliteration of the, the the Greek, Christos. Okay, for he will rescue you from every trap, and protect you from deadly disease. Like when the whole 2020 thing, you know, came to pass, we the brothers we we weren't scared. We weren't. Oh man, we gonna we gonna catch something. Da, 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 da. Nah, the the name of Yah Bashem Al Shai protected us. Okay. The the Lord the Lord is gonna rescue us from from every trap, every every. Uh, well, we we in a trap, okay. In this, in this system, this is a trap, and the Most High is has res is continuing to rescue us out of these different pitfalls that we that we could you know actually fall into. What you see, the two thirds, they're they're completely. You know, they're caught. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. See, these words that we can rely on, we can actually go back to the scriptures and, and, and read these scriptures and, and have faith that, that the things that Yah Bashem al Shai and actually bring them up, bring them up to the Lord. Hey, Lord, you said this, you said that. What about this? You said you, you, said you don't lie. You said you're going to, you know, help out uh, uh, Jacob, right? You told, you told Jacob not to fear. 
right? You, you gave us instructions of what to worry about. You said to pray in your name. Anything that you, any, Yahweh Shai told us that. Anything that you, you know, ask in my name, I will do that the Father may be uh, glorified. Okay, so we can actually bring up these promises, these, these, these things that the Lord said. Okay. Do, do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flieth in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. And when that fear overtakes this world, these people are going to be doing some crazy things. Okay. And this is what's going to separate the elect. Okay. The righteous from the, the, you know, the wicked, the wicked amongst our people, Esau, Edom, the other nations, they're going to be, they're going to be moved with fear. Even elites, they're going to be moving with fear. Okay. Because they're going to see, you know, pretty much all the signs pointing to them getting ready to be destroyed. So they're going to move. They're going to move in haste. They're going to move in fear. Okay. They're, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to move in wrath. Why do you think it says Revelation 12 and 12? Uh, the devil has come down us. You have great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. Okay. Cause he's going to see and, and hear he, he's seeing it now through, through the mouth, you know, of the prophets and the, and the prop, the true prophets raising up prophesying against them. The scriptures say prophesy against Mount Seir. Okay. Prophesy against these nations. Okay. Even, even our, our people to prophesy against, you know, the wicked of our people. And then the Lord is going to be showing them even more signs. Okay. Uh, more sightings of chariots. I mean, crazy things are going to happen and the elites, they're going to, you know, try to, you know, deceive the people into thinking that it's something else. All right. But they're going to move in haste. Okay. The, the, the scriptures speak about how the council of the Ford is carried headlong. Okay. They're going to move. They're going to be, they're going to be rushed. They're going to be hurried. All right, because they're going to see these things actually manifest when the when the men of the Lord have when, when they receive power, when when you see uh, the Israelites waking up on a whole nother scale. OK. And what's going to be the what's going to be the, the, the main component to salvation is going to be that name. Well, it tells you that in Acts, Acts, the fourth chapter. OK. Acts four. Acts 4 and 12, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And, and the name has been given to us. Let's look that up in the NLT. The name has actually been given to us. All right? There is, there is salvation no, uh, in no one else. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. And that is that name Jesus Christ. Ask yourself that. But you, you have our people that can't get, they can't leave that Christ alone. They can't leave Jesus Christ alone. They, they have an infatuation. They, they have a, a love for, for Christ. All right. They don't have uh, the true love of the God of the Bible and his son. Okay. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. They don't have that love which ultimately proves that the most high has not bestowed his love upon them. Okay. Because the, the ones that the most high has bestowed his love upon, he has given him, given them his name. Okay. Point blank period. There's nothing, there's nothing else to talk about. Okay. But hey, people going to do what they're going to do, which, which is all prophecy. Some, some shall wake to everlasting life. Some shall wake to shame and everlasting content. I'm back in Psalms 91. Okay, verse, verse seven. Though a thousand fall at your right at at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, and this is coming. This 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 amount of death is coming. Okay, and it's gonna it's gonna happen all. It's gonna happen suddenly. It's not gonna take us by surprise. We we actually is it here? We we looking. Hey, is it there? Is it is it here? Where where is it at? Oh, look 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 at this. Look look. It's ramping up. These evils will not touch you. And, and this is important to, to read these scriptures, to go over these scriptures and meditate upon them and actually apply this in your life. 
Because the scriptures say that no evil is going to touch you. Th that's the truth. Okay, and you must you must uh, live live that way. Not saying that you you go out, you know, and, and put yourself in dire situation. Oh, the boat's are you said you going you going you going you going to save me. Would it would it um would it uh, and th and Satan was quoting out of this scripture, Psalms ninety one when he told Yahweh Shai to jump off, jump off you know the mountain, and, and and basically you know he said once you jump off the the angels are gonna bury you up at least your foot dash dash uh you know you dash your foot against the stone, which if which is which is correct but the the the, the scriptures also say not to tempt the Lord power, okay. Cause the Lord is going to deliver his elect, but that doesn't mean you, you start, you know, you Spider-Man and shit. You, you, you know, you jumping off buildings. You think you got spiritual power? Nah. Okay. The, the, you have to be, you have to walk, uh, careful. Okay. Uh, redeeming the time, knowing that the days are evil. You have to walk circumspectly. You have to understand that we're still in the flesh. Okay. Just open your eyes. And see how the wicked are punished, right? We're gonna see, we're gonna see all these wicked individuals around us, all these damn demons. Okay, these so-called celebrities that sold their soul. You know, all these all these sodomites. Okay, all these 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 unruly women. Okay, and, and the, the main the main individual, Esau, Edom, as well as you false prophets, you these leaders that were set up. And you have to consider this. The most high has a certain leader set up just just so you can see them fall to gather themselves to gather huge huge followings okay because if there was only one group okay and only one set of leaders then jake would have no no you know jake would have to follow the right way but the lord he got stumbling blocks okay these are these other groups especially these groups that do not do not push the name and as well as do not push the, the emphasis on believing on those names. Again, IUIC, I, th that's that's ridiculous. Uh, not to push that name, but there go that that shows you there 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 has to be, you know, there has to be, you know, something something more behind the scenes. What happened? Because that the, the leader, the bishop, he he knew that name. He did he did a, a breakdown on the name. What, 20 some years ago 20 20 30 years ago but now all of a sudden he does he you know he he's basically said and the videos are out that any any individual that he knows that called on the name Yahweh was wicked and evil okay verse 9 if if you make the lord your refuge and, and it has the, the word lord in all capital that that's Yahweh. Okay, the, the Lord is not his name. That's a title. The Most High does not have many titles, meaning his name is not many names. Now, he is called by different titles, but he has one name. The name that he gave Moses, it, it has not changed. That, that was for, okay, that was for uh, everlasting generations. Okay, and the same thing with his son. His son has the same name. All right, and his name is not Jesus, which you Israelites that's calling on Jesus. You, you, you had some on my comment board before. Jesus Christ. Well, you know what? Keep, keep calling on that motherfucker, okay? And let's see, during the time of trouble, which Jake that does that, they don't even believe that these things really are going to happen. They're, they're actually listening. They just want to listen to something. You know, you're just bored. You know, bored, you want to be entertained. It was, you know, you want to watch the... Maybe the brother put a video that you wanted to watch inside that video. And maybe you just, you know, it, it's entertainment, entertainment Israelites. If you make the Lord your refuge and you make the most high your shelter, no evil will conquer you. Okay. And Esau Edom is the, the epitome of evil. No plague will come near your home. See, so not, o not only you, but the, the same, the same protection, the same shelter. Okay. Is going to. Uh, fall upon your family as well, whether you you're with your family or not, because that that that's a a, a spirit that's a that's a demonic spirit, spirit of Satan. Oh, what if this happens to them? What if this? Nah, you you and your family are covered. Okay. That's why hey, you, you women you women that don't have any husbands, hey, 
you you should have a husband okay but you know this you know this society and these women you know whatever the ultimately the 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 elect women they're gonna get it okay and the most high is is getting ready to bring so much death that all you people are gonna get humbled especially especially you women and in a time in a time of chaos and war, you you women you 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 don't have nothing to say. You you are fearful at every moment because there's a there's a there's a big man there's a big man ready to, ready to grab you up. Okay, and that's that's coming back. All right, that's that's coming back. In a in a big in a big way, the Most High is really going to show you women, you know that that you, you are under the man. Okay. You, you are not a, a black girl magic. You are not a god, okay? For, for he will order his angels, see, to protect you wherever you go, wherever you're at. The Most High is going to have his angels there, okay, to protect you. That's power, and, that, and that's all because of the name, okay? And, of course, the name... With the name goes the doctrine. You got to follow the correct doctrine because you have certain Israelites that's calling on the, on the name, but they're not following the the pure doctrine. Okay. They will hold you up with their he hands, so you won't ever hurt your foot on a stone. And this was Satan told. You know, he pulled from Psalms. Basically, you know, tempting Yahushua to jump off a. Of, Jump, jump off a mountain. You, uh, you will trample upon lions and cobras, and will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. What is that talking about? I saw my spiritual power. The Most High is going to give His elect the ability to, uh, to fight. I shall make you a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth, and you shall, you shall thresh them. So the Lord is going to make, he's going to turn his creature into a weapon, as it says in, uh, I believe it's Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Okay. We're going to become weapons. Okay. The Lord, the Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. See, if you love me, keep my commandments, you know, keep, keep my ways. I will protect those who trust in my name. See that? I will protect those who trust in my name. I want to look up that in the, let's go to the KJV. Okay. Verse 14, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I would deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. See, he has known, he has trusted. Okay. Let's look at this word known to know you, you die okay to learn to know perceive which means to understand to know by to know by experience see and this is why you know the, the most high gives us his name and through these different trials we call on that name okay this is why it's important for you to call on that name so you can gain experience. You get to know, you know the most high through experience. It's like you, you got a, a newly wed couple, you know, ne you know, you know, like in the ancient world, you know, you get together and you know, you get to know each other through experience, through time. Okay. Certain, certain, you, you, you gain more experience with each other to recognize, admit, acknowledge, confess. Right, you 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 acknowledge, okay? Confess as well. <clears throat> that's that's pretty much it on that. To instruct, perceive. Let's go back to the K, the NLT, and just read the last couple of verses. Verse 14 again. Uh, the Lord said, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name or know my name. 
when they call on me, I will answer. How you going to how you going to call on somebody and you don't know their name? Or you are not acquainted. You do not have experience with that person. You know of that person, but you do not have experience with that person. Hey, I'm in a bind. I need I need a thousand dollars. You you talk to this person. You you vaguely said something to this person five years ago, you know, in passing, and then you they call you up. Hey, can I get can I get a thousand dollars? I'm in a bind. I'm like who, who the hell is this? I don't know you. Okay, Th that person doesn't have an exper any experience with you. Okay. When they call on me, I will answer. But the elect, they they're gonna they're gonna call on Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, and he's going to answer. I will be with them in trouble. See, I will be with them in trouble. So you need to call on Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. That's the name. Okay. I will rescue and honor them. See, the Lord is gonna rescue us through that name. We gonna be we gonna be calling on that name when when no missiles fly. Asking Yah Bashim al Shai, begging Yah Bashim al Shai, beseeching Yah Bashim al Shai to deliver us, to remember the covenant. We we've already been, you know, acquainted with you. We we have much experience. You know what's good, you know. But the, the, but this, the scriptures say that the Lord's going, the Lord's going to rescue. The Lord's going, the Lord's going to answer. I will rest. I will reward them with a long life. And give them my salvation. Okay, so I'm gonna close it there until next time. Shalom to the elect.